Thank you for coming. It's a very important assignment. I called my most important panther. Would you like an important beverage? I won't lie to you, Panzer. This mission could involve danger. Dangerous danger? Quite possibly. There's no glory in this mission, Panzer. The work will require work. The hours will each be at least an hour long. The nights will be dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, Inspector. I thought you knew that. You'll be dealing with some of the most influential individuals in politics and world affairs. None of them over 11. What was that last part? They are young. Very young. They are children, but not just any children. Some are the sons and daughters of diplomats and prime ministers. Others are political activists, environmentalists, humanitarians, or simply very, very cute. But they all share one thing in common. Yeah? What's that? They are smart. Very, very smart. You don't say. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well, and let them lead the way. What a unique perspective. These children are at high risk for acts of terrorism. Your mission is to watch over them, protect them, see them home safely. Babysit. Baby, nothing. This is as much about foreign relations as it is about summer camp. Summer camp? You're sending me to a summer camp? Not just any summer camp, you oblivious gargoyle. Camp Chili Wawa! Chili Hua? Wawa! Wawa! Don't get so upset, Inspector. If anything goes wrong, if the children are the least bit unhappy, their influential parents will go nutso. Their countries will be outraged. World peace? Down the drain. Oh, it could fuel the next world war, for crying out loud. There's not a moment to waste. The children arrive in Chilliwawa today. They have each been given a private jet for transport. Well, point me to my jet and I'm out of here. Small problem. We are run out of jets. No biggie. I'm a pretty resourceful cat. Just tell me where the place is, I'll find my own way there. I'm afraid the location is top secret. No one is to know where Chilliwawa lies. Not even you. I see. So how would you propose I get there? I'll have to magically zap you. Magically zap me? Oh, no way. I hate that. Look, last time it took me like three days to recuperate. My fur was all dried out. I had cotton mouth. I can't stand being magically zapped. I won't do it. I can't. I just need to make sure there's enough distance between us. You owe me for this. You owe me big time. We, oui, we, oui, we. Oui. Le ah! The most spectacular summer camp ever! I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey! I get motion sickness. I like my feet planted firmly on the ground, thank you very much. If God intended for me to fly, he would have given me wings. But... I mean big metal wings, like an airplane.
That looks like a Von Schmarty contraption to me. Maybe I'll get him to show me how it works. It's locked. I need the code. It's locked. I need the code. I'm not in the mood for a swim. Pink Panther, welcome to Camp Chili Wawa, home to the first annual kids conference. Children from all over the world will meet here to discuss how to promote world peace. Yes, I heard. It's a wonderful program. Have you met any of our multicultural, ethnically diverse, but all equally gifted campers? Not yet. Well, please do. Feel free to look around. We're glad to have you aboard. Panther, explore! Smarty? That may be Von Smarty's cabin, but he's still stuck in the big sucky machine. Pink? It's your old friend Von Smarty stuck in here! Sorry, Shmurdy. Let me try to get you out. You're stuck. Don't panic. I'll figure something out. Please, Pink, find something to help me get out of here! That may be Von Shmurdy's cabin, but he's still stuck in the big sucky machine. That looks like a Von Schmarty contraption to me. Maybe I'll get him to show me how it works. Look around, Pink Panther. Explore! something to help me get out of here! <laughs> Saucy wrench! Can't fly without them. 
Sorry, we're still returning trays and tables to their upright positions. Sorry, this plane hasn't been refueled yet. Told you I'd get you out. Thank goodness! It's been too long, my friend! Too, too long! I had no idea you would be here. Of course! I had to turn this place into a little person's wonderland. Wait till you see my outrageous inventions. The Super Suck is just one. Would you mind depositing these items back where they belong? Don't you want to help me, Pink? Don't you want to help me, Pink? Don't you want to help me, Pink? glad to have you around. Did you see the airboards? I made those too. Did you see my dial -a day No. What is it? One of my best inventions yet. You select a season, a time of day, and presto. Crisp winter morning. It's not even cold. Isn't it wonderful? Let me try. It's sensational! Terrific! Oh, by the way, this is the code that will help you get into the supply shed. What was that you just whispered? I said Chili Baba success has gone to my head! It's a great success indeed! Don't open the champagne just yet. <laughs> I'm from the Better Camping Bureau. The BCB, <laughs> run! <laughs> My staff and I are here to evaluate your program. Make sure the children are well supervised and happy. See that all your equipment meets all rigid safety standards. I wish I had equipped the lawn with an eject button for unwanted visitors. Von Schmarty said the code should be kept a secret. I wish I had equipped the lawn with an eject button for unwanted visitors. Pink, find a way to get rid of those dogs, please. We said we want to inspect some of your high-tech gadgetry. Now, where is this stuff? Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Have you seen the airboards? What's an airboard? Like a skateboard that flies. Maximum weight capacity. Thing seems to work nicely.
Here are some pogo shoes. Pogo shoes? Pogo shoes, yeah. I see. Pogo shoes. How nice. Mind if my men take a look at those? Make sure you set the dial to a beginner. Beginner? Forget it, men. Crank them up. Show me what you got. If you say so. Those look fine, but I'm warning you, one slip-up and I'll shut this place down before you can say... Where's Louie? Where's Louie? Well, we'll consider ourselves warned. Don't get smart, Panther. I can't stand a smart panther. You, you prefer a dumb panther, boss? Shut it. Please, boss, I, I didn't do nothing. Say, what's in that shed? Oh, supplies, but it's locked right now, and I haven't found the code to open it. No code to open it. Well, you're off to a crummy start. <laughs> I guess we better go find Louie. But we'll be back. That guy's gonna be trouble. That was smart thinking, Pink. I'm going in my cabin to read up on the Better Camping Bureau policies. If you need me, just knock. Good thinking. I myself will take this time to do a deep cleansing kiwi citrus mask. My skin is horrific. I'll be in my cabin too if you need me, Pink. Okay, fellas. But don't worry. I'll be fine. I wonder what the story is behind this thing. I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. Neato! Neato. I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. I wonder what the story is behind this thing. The kitties all brought such interesting stuff. Neato. I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. I wonder what the story is behind this thing. I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. Neato! I wonder what the story is behind this thing.
I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. Neato! The kitties all brought such interesting stuff. You can feel it working! You can feel it working! Pink, please introduce yourself to all the children. I want them to feel comfortable. My name is Kumokin. I am a native Australian. Though I am only 10, in my village, I am considered a doctor of herbal medicine. I know all about nature. My totem is a crocodile. Hi, my name is Chioni, and I'm from Egypt. My name means daughter of the Nile. I like anything fast. My father is an ambassador. His name is Adolfo. I can write in hieroglyphics. Really? My name's Pink. What does your name mean? It means light red. <laughs> Ooh, let me guess. Chili Wawa, what's your name? That's Young Lee, a very gifted student from Beijing. Of course, no more or less gifted than any other gifted students. You understand. Excuse me. Did you meet all the children, Pink? Even little Nigel? He's a bit shy. You'll have to find some way to get him to warm up to you. Drani, and I'm an independent Indian woman, okay? I believe women should be treated as equals, and I will fight so that my daughters can live with respect. I am a Hindu, and I love Hindu mythology. My name, Indrani, means goddess of the sky. Do you know where Bhutan is? That's where I am from. I'm a Buddhist and I spent time as a monk in a monastery. I have pen pals from all over the world, and now I will have some more. I'm not in the mood for a swim. You can feel it working. Did you meet all the children, Pink? Even little Nigel? He's a bit shy. You'll have to find some way to get him to warm up to you. Well, if all else fails, at least there's creamed corn. White jackets. That rusty old thing won't work. Trust me. I can always make time for some fishing.
am not in the mood for a swim. Oh, hello. What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm from England. I'm a pacifist. P-A-C-I-F-I-S-T. I am very T-I-D-Y and most everything with love and R-E-S-P-E-C-T. This is my first time at camp. No roughhousing, please. You like fishing? Does it kill the fish? We won't kill them. We'll throw them back. But it must hurt a little when you snag them on the hook. I suppose it hurts a little, but just a drop. Like a teeny tiny eeny weeny little pinch. Ow, ow, ow! That hurts! What did I ever do to you? Eeny weeny, eh? I'm sorry. How would you like it if I hooked one of them things around the roof of your mouth, buddy? I'll never fish again. Then mend your ways, warmonger. Deliver your stick of doom into my hands, and I will see that no one is ever hurt by its E-V-I-L again. Stick of doom? The fishing rod. Oh, of course. Interesting. Though that's not how we do it in my country. Yeah, I'd like to visit your country someday. I insist you stay with my family when you do. the day go quickly? Bedtime, unique and lovable campers. Bedtime, don't forget our Introduction to Foreign Culture seminar first thing in the morning. Good night, Kamokin. See you in the morning, Nigel. Pleasant dreams, Ananda. Sleep tight, Chione. <laughs> Stop giggling, young Lee. Nighty night, Pink Pam. Don't let the bed box bite, mine, Jinda. Good night, John boy. This wasn't here yesterday. Life jackets. Dear Pink, come quick! Nigel is in a terrible state!
can see he's very agitated. Agitated. A G I tated. Agitated. Nigel? What's got you so upset? Be quiet! I hate you! I hate this place! It's a rotten dump! Oh, you couldn't possibly be. Be quiet! I want to go home to England! England rules! I can't stand it here! It's a rotten dump! A dump! You hear me? R-O-T-T! Close enough. Your next word is hyperbole. Hyperbole. A-H-Y-P-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E
laundry. Indrani, is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Come a little closer. <laughs> I guess I feel better now, sucker. She's changed. I'm right here, Pink. I thought you were going to England. You better hurry. Take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. We're next on the runway to take off. If you'll make sure your seatbelts are fastened, we'll be on our way promptly. feet today. Once we finish our climb, you can remove your seatbelt and move freely about the cabin. Would you like to see our in-flight movie today? What are you showing? Sister Act 16. I'm a panther, not a bird. In just a few minutes, we'll be arriving in London. The current weather conditions are gray and foggy. Thank you for flying Air 